Hi everyone, in this lecture we will understand how nested function act like helper functions with the help of this problem. So this is our problem statement, write a program that will print the following pattern using nested functions. And this is the pattern. First of all, we have uh, some equal signs, then we have our message hello and then again we have some other equal sign then a second message then the equal signs so here as you can see that the number of equal sign is equals to the number of character in the message so we will use two functions one function will get messages from the user while the second function which will be the nested function will print these patterns these equal signs so our nested function will act like a helper function in our enclosing function. So let's create here our first outer or enclosing function. So I'll say dev and then mewsages messages. So this function will take arbitrary number of messages from the user. So for this purpose, we need to define here star args. This means that we will get infinite number of messages or infinite number of arguments from the user and just put colon and now inside this function first of all we need to define our second helper function or our nested function which will print these equal signs so let's write here def i'll name it patron and i have mentioned you before that the number of equal sign depends on the number of characters in the message so this helper function will take a parameter and this will be the number or the number of characters in the message and then we will loop on each and every character so just write here for i in branch number and then instead of printing i we will print equal signs so you can use here while loop as well if you are comfortable with while loop just use it if you are comfortable with for loop just use the for loop and you will get the same output so just write here print and then equals oops double quotes and equal sign and instead of ending this print function with a blank line I'll end it with nothing so end is equals to and just put double quotes no blank space nothing else and after printing all of these equal sign as you can see that our message is printed on a new line so outside this for loop I'll write another print statement but this time I'll leave it empty so just write here print and just leave it empty and this print function will move our cursor from this line to a new line and this is our helper function and now let's loop on these messages which user will pass right here so outside this function i'll define my for loop so just write your for message in arcs so simple I'm looping in my enclosing function on each and every argument which user will pass right here. So first of all, I'll call pattern function right here. Pattern and the reason is that before printing the message, I need to print these equal signs. And obviously, uh, I need to pass the length of the characters in that message. So just write here len and then write mewsag message variable so this length function will tell us how many characters are there in this message and this num parameter will catch the number and obviously we will perform our logic inside this helper function and after printing the pattern we will print the message so just write here print and then message and after printing the message we are going to print the pattern again so just right here pattern and then obviously we need to pass the length of the characters of the message so length and then message and here 
you have noticed one thing and that is we are repeatedly using this inner function inside this outer function and that's why in this scenario this inner function or this enclosed function is called as a helper function because it is helping the outer or the main function and now it's time to call this outer function so just right here messages and then uh, first of all let's pass our first message just right here hello world hello world let's save it uh, let's run it and yeah we got our output so as you can see number of equal signs are equals to the number of character in the message and now let's pass another message second message let's save it let's run it and now we got the second message as you can see we are successfully printing the same pattern of the problem right here on the terminal and now you can also debug it in order to understand the logic in a better way so let me put some breakpoints and now just debug python file and just look at this variable space so first of all the interpreter will read the line number one and then uh, it will move to line number 11 where we are calling this function and then it will move to line number two okay so here as you can see in the arcs variable we got hello world and the second message and it will move to line number six after line number two and now it's going to loop on these messages in the message variable we got hello world first because as you can see in this args variable our first data item is hello world and now it's going to find the length of this message and it will store the length in this number variable as you can see the value of this num variable is 11 and the reason is that there are 11 characters in this message and it's going to loop on this print function 11 times and now it's going to call this print function and here just notice that our pointer will move to the second line after this print function and here we go now our pointer is on the new line because of this print function and now it's going to print our message which is hello world and here we go we got our hello world and again python will call this print function and now this time it will fetch the second data item of this arcs variable which is our second message and we got second message in this message variable and now as you can see that the number of characters in this second message is 14 and now it's going to print this equal sign 14 times on this line and now we will get our message which is second word and again the python interpreter will call this helper function and our program will end now and here we go we got our output so i hope that you have understood how nested function acts like helper function it is very difficult to write all of these equal signs manually before and after the message so the simple way is to define a helper function inside the function and just write our logic inside the helper function and that function will handle everything for us so i hope that you have enjoyed this lecture and in the next lecture we will learn something new and i'll see you there bye bye